We've all been there, stuck, feeling trapped by circumstances, blaming others or the world for our struggles. It's a heavy weight blame. It keeps us small, afraid, and powerless. But what if we could choose something different? What if we could shed the weight of blame and step into our power? Our lives are a history of choices, some conscious, some unconscious. We can choose to stay stuck, repeating the blame cycle, or we can choose to break free, embracing our power to create change. The first step is acknowledging our role in our own lives. It's about owning our stories, our choices, and our responsibility. It's not about ignoring the challenges or pretending they don't hurt. It's about recognizing that within those challenges lie opportunities for growth and transformation. It's about shifting from why is this happening to me to what can I learn from this? And how can I grow from this? This shift in perspective doesn't happen overnight. It's a journey, a conscious choice we make each day. We stumble, we fall, but we get back up. With each step, we shed the weight of blame and embrace the power within us. We become the authors of our own lives, writing a story of courage, resilience, and hope. Be a person of accountability. It's a powerful word. It's about owning our choices, both the good and the bad, and accepting the consequences that come with them. It's easy to blame others, circumstances, or even fate for our misfortunes. It's much harder to look within and acknowledge our role. But in that act of owning our choices, we discover something profound, our power. We realize that we are not merely victims of circumstance, but active participants in our own lives. We have the power to choose, to act, to create change. This doesn't mean we ignore the role of others or external factors. It simply means we acknowledge our own agency, our ability to respond and influence the course of our lives. When we deny our stories, they define us. When we own our stories, we get to write a brave new ending. Choosing accountability is not about self-blame or self-criticism. It's about self-compassion and understanding. It's about recognizing our imperfections and learning from our mistakes. It's about recognizing our strengths and using them to move forward. It's about embracing our whole selves, the good, the bad, and the messy, and stepping into our power. Human beings are vulnerable. Embrace your vulnerability. Vulnerability is often misunderstood as weakness. We're taught to hide our imperfections, to put on a brave face, to pretend we have it all together. But true courage lies in embracing our vulnerability. It's about showing up authentically, imperfections and all. Vulnerability is not about oversharing or seeking attention. It's about being real, being honest with ourselves and with others. It's about letting go of the need to be perfect and embracing the beauty of our imperfection. It's in those cracks and crevices that our true strength lies. Vulnerability is not winning or losing. It's having the courage to show up and be seen when we have no control over the outcome. Vulnerability is not weakness. It's our greatest measure of courage. When we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, we open ourselves to connection, to empathy, to love. We create space for others to be vulnerable with us, fostering a sense of belonging and shared humanity. It's in those moments of vulnerability that we truly connect, that we truly grow. Realize the power of perspective. Our perspective shapes our reality. How we choose to see the world, ourselves, and our experiences profoundly impacts our thoughts, feelings, and actions. If we view the world through a lens of blame and negativity, we'll find evidence to support that view. But what if we shifted our perspective? What if we chose to see challenges as opportunities for growth, setbacks as lessons learned? By consciously choosing to reframe our narrative, we empower ourselves to see the world differently, to find the good even in the midst of hardship. This doesn't mean ignoring pain or pretending that hardship doesn't exist. It's about acknowledging the darkness while also choosing to look for the light. It's about asking ourselves, what can I learn from this? How can I grow from this? What is this experience teaching me about myself? Reframing our narrative is a conscious choice, a daily practice. It's about paying attention to our thoughts, challenging negative self-talk and focusing on the positive. It's about choosing gratitude over resentment, hope over despair, and love over fear. Transform our fears into action small steps can make a huge impact. Fear can be paralyzing. It can keep us stuck in the blame cycle, preventing us from taking action. But fear can also be a catalyst for growth, a powerful motivator for change. The key is to transform fear into action. This doesn't mean ignoring our fear or pretending it doesn't exist. It's about acknowledging our fear, understanding its root, and choosing to move forward despite it. It's about recognizing that fear is often a signal that we're on the right track, that we're stepping outside our comfort zone and into our growth zone. Courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the assessment that something else is more important than fear. 
transformation doesn't happen overnight. It's a process, a journey of small steps taken consistently over time. Each step, no matter how small, is a victory over fear, a testament to our courage and resilience. It's in those small, consistent actions that we create lasting change in our lives. Finally, life is a journey full of twists and turns, joys and sorrows, triumphs and setbacks. It's a journey woven with threads of choice, consequence and growth. We can choose to stay stuck in the blame cycle, clinging to the illusion of powerlessness. Or we can choose to embrace our power, to own our choices, to step into the unknown with courage and vulnerability. The path to personal empowerment is not always easy. It requires honesty, self-compassion, and a willingness to face our fears. But it's a journey worth taking, a journey that leads to a life of meaning, purpose, and joy. Owning our story can be hard, but not nearly as difficult as spending our lives running from it. Choose to own your story. Choose to embrace the journey. Choose to unleash your potential.